too recently, back in January. Um, I'm the group that developed Kodu, Matt McLaurin and his group merged in with my group, and now we're called Fuse Labs, Future Social Experiences, and we're a part of Microsoft that's really looking at uh, building and prototyping exciting things that people can do together. It was created because Matt saw how passively his daughter interacted with the computer, that she, she viewed it as something she, where she wasn't creating. And this gives people the, the possibility to, to make their own worlds. I think, um, I, I think what's really great about it is that it's so you see how you can, um, give clear instructions and, and, make a whole system come to life in front of you. Well, I just had a class last week where it was fascinating to me because there was a five-year-old in the class and a 12-year-old in the class. And just to see the different things that people at different ages can do with Kodu, um, it's amazing. I mean, all of those things on the internet, some of the worlds that really have drama and tension and suspense just from the lighting and the, the mood that's created, that's really amazing. But also just to see how different people can express themselves in Kodu, whatever their age or interests might be. Um, well, one strength is obviously just that it's such a creative environment. It's not constraining. It really opens up the possibilities for anyone who uses it. I liked on your site uh, the game that someone built, you know, built Pac-Man in Kodu, right? You could do a game like Pac-Man. You could do something completely and totally different. Um, I also think that from, again, when I was teaching and there were five- and six-year-olds, they still get it really quickly. Oh, you use these preformed tiles and you tell the characters what to do. The near-term thing is that there certainly will be a new release out within the next couple of weeks. Uh, from our perspective, one thing that's exciting about that new release is that um, you'll have the opportunity to opt in and send us data about how you're using Kodu, so we'll know a lot more about what people are doing with the application and figure out how we can make it better. Um, from the user's perspective, you'll be able to automatically get updates once we have that in, so it'll tell you when there's a new version available. And there's also a, a much expanded hint system that will be in that release. So if the system can tell that you're stuck in some way, it'll give you a hint to help you move forward. Uh, if you run out of resources or if you seem stuck and don't know what to do, it'll su suggest different options. That's the very near term, right? I and mean, that's really in the next couple of weeks. Then the bigger project that we're really excited about is allowing people to share their worlds on Azure, having a really solid platform for sharing. Um, and then we're also doing a push to get Kodu into schools more and more. We're working with teachers uh, and with clubs to build out curricula that other people can, can share and use so that it becomes something that more and more kids are exposed to. Great tutorials out there. Um, I, I certainly like the one um, from Stuart Ridout and the one uh, Crack Rabbit Gaming. Those are two really nice tutorials that are out there. Uh, there's another one that went up this week. We'll try to put a post on our blog soon also with links to some of the really nice getting started tutorials that we've seen. One of the first things I'm doing is gathering that type of information um, to have just a common place people can come to and help them get started. Uh, so I would recommend those web tutorials. I, I personally found that really useful for getting started. There, well, two things. One is some feedback that we've gotten uh, is that people want a more human character in addition to what we have. So that's in a sort of long-term future direction that we would look into that. And the other thing is we've been approached by a lot of different groups that have a specific character set in mind that would kind of bring Kodu into their specific area of interest, um, whether it's kind of things related to space or things related to the environment. Um, we had one conversation about, gee, how could you make a Kodu world that would be a model of a subway system? Right, and, and have students be navigating through the subway system. So that's another area that we're looking at is how you could incorporate specific models of specific things into Kodu and then build your game around those things. We are super excited um, to have more and more people using Kodu. We're available to support certainly clubs and schools that are interested in getting started with Kodu. Uh, we love the forums on 
Planet Kodu, on Codex, on uh, on our blog. The comments are really amazing. So uh, what we really want to do now is help build this Kodu community around the world. Uh, you may have seen our blog post. Uh, we give instructions for localizing into different languages. Uh, we're very, we'd love to hear from anyone who wants to do that localization into their own languages. So we're really working on on building this community and focusing on getting into the hands of kids in particular.